guys, so welcome back to Driver 88. Today we're celebrating the 75th anniversary of my favorite brand, Porsche. We're here at also my favorite uh, dealership, which of course is Porsche Doncaster, who I've been a customer with and are my family for a number of years now. We're gonna show you a whole bunch of different, different models, um, rare, new, um, and old. Um, and also today is a particularly sad day as well as a celebration because yesterday I dropped off my GT4 RS. So all Porsche dealerships across the country are going to be celebrating the 75th anniversary. On top of that, we saw the Mission X, which was released last night, which is quite cool. Give me your opinion on that one. We're going to head to Porsche Melbourne as well. And today, uh, if you hopefully get this reference, maybe you're too young, I did a 1% of Dave Chappelle. I don't know, you went to public school too, motherfucker. So I was offered 50 grand more for my GT4 RS, but I decided to give it back to the family because I would rather do that and then maybe come back here in a couple of years and get something else, GT Porsche. Let's go and have a look at some cars. So a few race cars here, the absolutely iconic 935. To think that these things are almost 50 years old now, 800 horsepower at that time is absolutely incredible. These two ones, different liveries, also different aero kits, which is interesting. Just phenomenal enormous amazing race cars and so the modern version of the 935 are uh, produced just a few years ago there's just 77 of these in the world obviously they're track focused you can't take this on the road um, this one just looks insane with exposed carbon the basically the power is the same as a gt2 rs except everything has been stripped back we've got these incredible aero wheels and i think it's about 100 kilos lighter than a standard GT2 RS, um, but this is all just about aero, about grip, and this thing is just enormous. It is really the, mo the modern Moby Dick. Sport Classic, one of 250 in the world, unique interior, the ducktail of course, the rear I think looks really really awesome, um, quite a rare car to see in Australia, manual of course, a whole bunch of different bits, I guess we can see more pictures as I'm talking now, to the left of me the turbo exclusive series, only 500 in the world, god knows what these are going for now, unfortunately a lot of people don't drive them, um, this was the pretty much the most powerful 911 I believe. Uh, in production at the time, uh, 607 horsepower or so, incredibly fast. Very uh, unique styling wheels on this one, gold everything, unique interior, really, really cool. Another really, really rare GT3, our Australia edition, which was celebrating uh, the milestone for the first uh, Porsche in Australia. I think there's just 25 of these. Um, really, really cool, of course, manual unique um, badging and unique styling uh, and behind us 997 Speedster so uh, the 997 Speedster just 356 models this one is called pure blue and in right hand drive I can only imagine there's got to be barely any right hand drive models and in this configuration 400 or so NA horsepower really really unique cool looking car over the years they've just basically gradually been increasing in value so a very Unique looking and cool 997. 50th anniversary 911, there's just 1963 units of this one. Basically a Carrera S with all sorts of uh, almost you know, unique options. Beautiful color, the Fuchs style wheels, um, and of course the unique interior changes as well. Quite a rare car. So on, on the more modern end, of course, uh, being a 75th anniversary, we have to have a 918 somewhere in that classic uh, silver color. Behind me, the brand new 992 GT3 RS. I'm kind of late to the party with the 3 RS. I haven't seen one uh, until today or yesterday. Um, of course, the enormous wing looks absolutely ridiculous. And my opinion, my opinion only, it looks better in this spec. Forget the Weissach back, at least aesthetically. That bonnet looks absolutely horrendous in Weissach spec. Just my opinion, this one, really really looks incredible also a cool guest here magnus walker's 930 turbo it's in uh, metallic copper brown it looks absolutely awesome it's full of kicks if you like kicks uh, it's driven properly and just a really really beautiful spec so 
So another really cool part of today, um, our friends of the channel, uh, Jackie and Renil, they've just got their brand new car. If you haven't seen one of our earlier vlogs, we went through Jackie's uh, quite rare manual, uh, almost race cars, and their 4RS has just arrived and they've wrapped it in an amethyst purple and this thing looks absolutely incredible especially when the sun comes out just a beautiful spec and it complements the gt4 so well uh, obviously being pdk and manual together uh, an amazing car the de decals on the side amethyst purple incredible looking car so of course as we're celebrating 75 years of my favorite brand we've got a bunch of classics out the front here we've also got three really cool pts cars out the front here, um, Black Olive with a GT3, Golf Blue PTS with a Turbo S, um, and as well, the Honda Yellow, which I've never seen before on a GT3 Touring. Really, really unique spec. So that was Doncaster, we've dropped off our car, now we're heading to Porsche Centre Melbourne, of course it's the biggest Porsche dealership here in the state. There's heaps of cool stuff you'll see, Carrera GTs, there's two of them, um, we've also got our mate Howie's PTS GT4 RS, uh, along with a number of other PTS cars, the 959, which we'll show you in a second. We've also got not one, but two uh, 935s, new ones, uh, one in each dealership, so it's pretty crazy to see two cars that's one of 77 in essentially the same place. There's heaps of cool stuff going on. Um, let me know what is your favorite. We've also got the Transformers 911 here, which is coming out. The Cup Car 992 looks incredible. And I have to look at the specs, but the very, very famous Porsche Tractor, which looks really, really pretty for a tractor. Okay, so my theory is the 3RS has become so focused on track driving and you have no luggage whatsoever. If you're going to be taking it to the track 80% of the time, why not spend a similar amount of money and just buy a cup car instead? That is my, that is my theory for today. Oh, the action. The thing is, I, I, have a, I have a metal hip, so <laughs> I can't push off my right one very much. Okay. Got there. 